Welcome to designing a smart assistant with BeagleY AI. In this demo video, I will go over what the BeagleY is and how to adapt a Google AIY voice kit designed for a competing single board computer to be compatible with it. The BeagleY AI is a single board computer developed by engineers at BeagleBoard, a 501c3 nonprofit organization created to promote the use of open source software and hardware in embedded computing. They provide a wide variety of boards with features intended for various purposes, including Beagle Play and the Beagle Bone Black. Beagle Y AI brings open source hardware to an industry standard form factor. It's based on the Texas Instruments AM67A ARM based vision processor and features dual C7 times DSPs, each of which are capable of four tops of Edge AI acceleration. With four USB ports, one Ethernet port, one USB-C, and one micro HDMI connection, the BeagleY AI provides a sense of familiarity for experienced SBC users. For external attachments, the board features a 40-pin header coupled along with the navigable documentation website to understand the connections. BeagleY AI also comes pre-installed with a Debian operating system and provides both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities, making it an ideal choice for a wide variety of projects. In order to demonstrate the out-of-box experience and feature capabilities of the board, a Google AIY voice kit designed for the Raspberry Pi 4 will be adapted for the BeagleY AI. This kit outlines instructions on how to develop a makeshift voice assistant, where the device responds to a prompt poised by a person. Here is the GitHub repository with all the necessary code. As you can see on line 1, we will be using OpenAI as our natural language processor. This is because the Google Assistant Python module is now deprecated. Before jumping into the assembly process, here's a short demonstration video of a functioning voice kit. What is BeagleBoard? BeagleBoard is a low-cost, open-source, single-board computer designed for developers and hobbyists. It is based on the ARM architecture and runs a Linux-based operating system. The original BeagleBoard was released in 2008 and has since been updated with several newer versions, including the BeagleBone Black and BeagleBone Blue. It is often used for prototyping, educational purposes, and for creating embedded systems. Now it is time to go over how exactly to set up the voice kit. Throughout the rest of the video, references will be made to this Medium article and this GitHub repository, so here are the explicit links if needed. In order to build this project, here are the materials that you will need. Instructions on how to start up the SVC can be found on this page. The overall process involves downloading this boot media and flashing it onto an SD card. The instructions take you through on how exactly to do this. However, there's an extra step that needs to be done in addition to these instructions if you want the speaker to work. Once you get to this step and the username and password are edited, complete the following additional steps before continuing on with a quick start guide. Download the code on this page and follow these four steps on the Medium article. After this is completed, continue on with the rest of the quick start guide as outlined. Now that the board is booted up, follow the instructions provided in the AIY kit to assemble the box and connect the components to the BeagleY AI. Due to a Linux driver bug, the MIC ASP peripheral cannot be enabled to provide directional audio, so the microphone provided by the kit will not be functional. In order to work around this, you can use the USB microphone and plug it into one of the ports. Confirm that the microphone and speaker are functional. This can be accomplished by using the following Linux commands. Then connect the board to Wi-Fi, which can be accomplished with these commands. Now it is time to set up the software. The first step to accomplish this is to clone the GitHub onto the device. Once that is accomplished, install and enter a virtual environment. Then install the necessary Python packages. More details on the specific Linux commands for these steps can be found in the Medium article. The next step is to obtain an API key from platform.openai.com and edit line 8 of the code to this key. More details on how to do this can also be found in the Medium article. Now, run the code. If the API key is set up correctly, the code will print out a list of available microphone devices in this format. Identify the microphone that is intended to be used with the project. Note its device index. If this value is a number other than 1, edit the value of device underscore index in line 22 of voicechatgpt.py to the correct index. 
Now, run the code again, and you'll hopefully find that the voice kit is working correctly. Congratulations on making your very own voice assistant using the Beagle Y AI.